Welcome again. Right now we're at 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 through 5, the weapons of our warfare. Now I, Paul, myself, entreat you by the humility and gentleness of Christ. Notice he puts an emphasis here on humility and the gentleness of Christ. Jesus is certainly not a man of pride, but rather a man of humility. I, who in your presence am lowly among you, lowly meaning humble, but being absent am bold toward you. Yes, I beg you that I may not, when present, show courage with the confidence with which I intend to be bold against some who consider us to be walking according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we don't wage war according to the flesh. Paul said we walk according to the flesh. In other words, yes, we're here in this world. We have physical bodies. We have corruptible bodies. And Paul says we don't wage war according to the flesh. In other words, we don't wage war. We don't fight according to the flesh. We don't fight just merely what our eyes see, what our physical hands can touch. We don't fight the physical, material world. Verse 4, for the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, some translations say carnal, of the world, but mighty before God to the throwing down of strongholds. Strongholds here meaning like fortresses. So Paul says the weapons of his warfare are mighty before God to the throwing down of strongholds, like fortresses, spiritual fortresses, throwing down imaginations. So what did Paul mean when he said throwing down imaginations? That word imaginations is in the original Greek manuscripts logismos. And that means literally reckoning or reasoning or judgment. It's basically the outcome or the summary of your thoughts. It is the product of your thoughts. Some translations use the word arguments here for logismos. And it's not very well translated into the word arguments because it means reckoning or reasoning or judgment. So throwing down, throwing down every reckoning, reasoning, or judgment and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So our warfare is spiritual, and it begins right within our own spirits and right within our own hearts, right within our own minds. We are to cast down, we are to throw down every reckoning, reasoning, and judgment, and every high thing. This is talking about the things of pride or the things that are very highly esteemed by the world. Every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And believe me, there are a lot of things, even in the world today, that is exalted against the knowledge of God. Ideas, lifestyles, laws, and bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Every thought, every naima in the original Greek, every mental perception, every thought. We are to bring into captivity every thought. In other words, don't let your mind wander away into things that Jesus wouldn't like, that the Holy One wouldn't like, okay? Don't forget, Jesus is the Holy One. Jesus is holy. So we are to bring into captivity every thought so Paul went from the product of the thought, the reckoning, the reasoning, and the judgments, right to the very root, the thought itself. We are to bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus, to the obedience of Christ. So even if you think something that is against Jesus, that is against the Word of God, so even if you think something that the Lord would not be pleased with, you are to bring that thought into captivity. We are to, number one, control our minds. It's self-control. It is the fruit of the Spirit, self-control. We are to control our thoughts, which will in turn determine the outcome, the product of our thoughts, which is reasoning, the reckoning, and the judgments that we have in our own minds, in our own hearts. Everybody has reasonings, reckonings, and judgments in their hearts. That is a great challenge that everybody that considers themselves to be Christians should take hold of. Until next time, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.